Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning about operator overloading and this to a lot of people seems like a hard complicated subject but I'm going to make it so easy then I hope you guys really understand it. So uh, the word overloading should, shouldn't should be a foreign to you, it should be uh, something familiar to you. And overloading means that we can have multiple things with the with the same name, right? So whether we had constructor overloading, we had function overloading, we could have many things with the same name, right? So the same thing with operators with plus and minus and all that stuff, right? We can overload what those things do, right? And we can handle those in classes. Now let's say, uh, let's go to main, okay? And let's say player P and uh, A and let's say uh, A is equal to P or let's just say we call P plus plus or something like that what does P plus plus mean what are we incrementing by one what are we doing to it it doesn't know how to call a function call this function what if we were supposed to say P plus equals A what does it mean to add one class to another? The int is another is an object type, but it is set to that. If you say uh, a plus equals or whatever, it knows that we need to uh, add one to a or whatever, right? It knows that we need to do that. So with classes, whenever we call plus equals, it doesn't know what to do with it, right? it doesn't know explicitly what to do with it and that's how, why we do operator overloading so if for, ever, if for whatever reason we want to use arithmetic or any of the operators to do certain tasks then we can do them and we can do them in place of, of functions um, and uh, most times you will want to set it that it makes sense so if you say like p plus a you want to make it that it's probably adding to something, right? Because if you're not adding to something, then uh, then it could kind of get confusing. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do this now. So with every single type of function or method, we need to have a return type, okay? Uh, so let's say this return type is void, okay? Now, when we overload operators, right, we don't just put uh, the operator like that. We have to put operator and then the operator that we're trying to overload. So this time we're trying to overload the uh, the plus operator, okay? And then if we take any parameters or not. So now for the parameters, uh, for now we're gonna leave uh, the parameters as blank. But this is our initial syntax. So we're over, we're um, using operators uh, on the, the plus sign. And what we're gonna put in there as well is we're gonna put player P or whatever in there. And I'll explain w why we did this. So we're gonna say void player, and just like we do a regular function, and then we do player P. So think of when we say operator plus, think of that as the function name. Okay, that is the actual function name, operator plus. Now in here, all we're gonna say is uh, add or something like that, okay? So that's all we're gonna do for it. So let us go to our main class, okay? And now let's just do P plus A. So if we run this program, let's see what we get. Just gotta wait for this to build. Uh, so this is from previous tutorials, but as we see, we see the add right there. So whatever we put in that function is displayed. So what is going on here? When we go to our, uh, we overloaded the plus operator, right? And we take in a, p a parameter in here. So what we're basically saying in this parameter is saying that we're going to say, we're going to call 
the initial uh, whatever we're gonna call it, we'll say plus and this represents the parameters right so when I say P plus a this is representing whatever is in a it's representing whatever is in the parameters now I know that might confuse you guys so let's look at it from a functions perspective so we could say P plus operator plus we could do this if we want if we like and then in the brackets we could just put a so it's the same as creating a function right say our function was called operator or something it's the same as creating a, a function and passing in the parameter like that but we can easily just shorten it by just saying p plus a and when we call p plus a then it triggers this function because we just overloaded the plus operator and whatever goes on in here is that we add two values right uh, so let's look at uh, say operator plus plus okay and let's get rid of this parameter right here so we'll just say p plus plus and in player dot h we'll just put plus plus and nothing in the parameters now you know how you can normally do plus plus and add to or something or say like the variable name plus plus this is the uh, the prefix version the plus plus whatever variable name and if you want to do the post fix version then you have to add an int in the parameters right uh, but right now we'll just work with the post fix now if you want it to uh, for example if we if we only specify a prefix but we do it like a post fix then it will convert the prefix into the post fix so it will, it will work vice versa so let's go to main and we're gonna call p plus plus even though this is the post fix it will call the uh, the prefix it will call the prefix version okay unless we actually specify uh, a post fix, a fix version so anyways if we call p plus plus in this scenario and we run this program as you will see, you'll get a warning no postfix form of operator plus plus found for type player using the prefix form. So if you don't specify postfix form, then it will use the prefix. Okay, so anyways, we just gotta wait for this to finish building. It, it really compiles slow whenever I have the screen recorder running. But as you can see, it will run, it will still run the same uh, code. So in an overview, uh, I, there's a lot of any operator that you can think of like plus equals or whatever something like that you can overload it and use it as um, like specify anything you need to do within it just like a function right and uh, you can it operates just like a function but instead of calling it like a function you could call it by the operator that you specify so that's all operating operator overloading is it just allows you to call let's say a function in a different way so if you ever need to use the operators instead of a regular function then you can do this with operator overloading so that is it for this tutorial I hope it was easy for you if it wasn't, then you feel free to leave a comment below or post on a forum on my website or inbox me, right? I'm here to help. So if you you don't, if it's not clear, then I might make another tutorial to help clarify some of the questions that you have. So, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.